the next one is what we call um, a priority for planning and structure. So we found um, that successful business owners have a very low focus on structure. So structure is what helps you to plan, to organize, etc. Now that's super important when you're scaling or at the later stages of a venture. But when you're in a crisis and you're trying to restart your business and keep it going, being able to figure things out as you go and improvise as you go is a critical, critical ingredient. If you're trying to plan everything perfectly, it means, again, you're not in the doing of it. You're trying to get the optimal perfect plan and you're trying to plan for something which you don't even know how it's going to work in your business. So what we suggest is, is come up with a very minimal one-page succinct plan and then try and put it in place and then iterate on the plan until it works for your business. Yes. Okay. So let, so we'll give an example of something like that, right? So at Embed, we have go to market plan. We have a marketing strategy. We have a marketing vision. We have all the big picture stuff. And then we have a structure and way of working. And then we have tactical plans for every single one of our regions, right? But when the pandemic hit, we literally pressed pause on all of that because it would have been irrelevant to continue doing that level of marketing or whatever those plans were. And instead, we took 48 hours, that's two days, to do an immediate marketing pivot, redo our plan. But even that plan was like a skeleton of things. Hey, we want to do yeah. this. We're going to figure it out as we go. And what's happened is as we brought in some of the people back from furlough in North America, now I have in Asia and my, my North America team, we got together and we said, hey, listen, guys, the way of working it, the way we previously worked is not the way we're working now. We're in the middle of a crisis, which basically means we're working in real time, right? And while there is kind of a skeleton of, hey, these are the approvals and whatnot, at the end of the day, people are in the doing and taking action and focused on delivering and focused on basically on just continuing to move forward, even though we know that this is an unstructured, it's a loosely structured way of working, but at this point, it's yeah. about speed and speed to market and speed of reaction and sure we've made some mistakes but we correct those and course correct as you go along these are the times that actually make you as a business owner these are the times where you remember why you got into business and you go back to the core mission you go back to the core of who you are and you regain that the business and if you can be true to that the authenticity is going to come through in how you present yourself again to your users your customers um, and the people who are coming and um, I think it's one of the most critical things is that with the stress and the difficulties that everybody is facing today we can uh, lose sight of all of those things so I encourage you to take pause to come back and to reflect on who and why are you in this business and what you exist to do and stay narrowly focused to that during the crisis Amazing. Thank you so very much, Michelle, for coming on Embed Live today. I am so excited that we're going to be working with you um, again, um, because like you said, you take people from good to great organizations, from good to great. And this, I think, has been such a gift. So I thank you so very much, my dear, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day in Australia. Thank you very much for inviting me to chat with you. It's been fantastic.